When Shiloh plays his music, everything else goes away. He works the controls, shapes the sounds, and creates the experience. In this moment, it's all about the music, and all of the bad things fade. The painful weeks and months of cancer treatments, the isolation and loneliness of not being able to attend a regular school, a frightening and risky surgery in a city full of strangers. But for this brief moment, DJ Shy B rules. Shiloh was born with a life-threatening immune deficiency. His mom, Lisa, homeschooled him so he'd be better protected from illness. I was an only child, so I didn't go to school. So I, you know, I was, you know, growing up and have a lot of, I guess, not a lot of people to hang out with. And as I got older, started getting involved with other people and started meeting kids and stay positive for what's going on and never feel down about anything. At age 12, Shiloh developed B-cell lymphoma, a dangerous form of cancer. He received aggressive chemotherapy and the disease went into remission, but it returned three years later. Listening to music helped him stay strong and calm in the face of fear. So what was it like to have a community around you that understood where you were at, that understood what you were going through, and for you to have other young kids around that were dealing with their own issues? You're not the only one that's in the battle, you know. Now with lymphoma, some kids had heart disease, or some kids that had open heart, diabetes, bad, so you know, surgeries. You know, everyone has everyone has something wrong with them. When his mom became seriously ill four years ago, Shiloh and Lisa took care of each other. Last fall, with Lisa's health failing, the doctor said Shiloh needed a thymus transplant, a rare and risky operation in which a donor gland is placed into the thigh. Its purpose is to help the body's T cells fight off viruses. But shortly after the surgery was scheduled, Lisa died. Shiloh and his grandma, Cheryl, were faced with traveling from their home in Coral Springs, Florida, to Duke University, staying three months to have their procedure and follow-up treatments done. That's where they discovered the Ronald McDonald House. I think things happen for a reason. And uh, Lisa was very sick. And um, I think the focus transferred to us because it was such a timing of close timing that without my focus on Shiloh and that the thymus was already prepared and we were going to move forward with the transplant, I think it really kept me uh, going. My focus then transferred from Lisa to Shiloh. And that's where we were every day. My strength comes to, to Shiloh. So the Ronald McDonald House Charities really stepped in at a crucial point. Exactly. I mean, I didn't have time to plan anything. I just knew we were going. And um, Dr. Markhart at Duke and the Ronald McDonald House and the whole Duke organization coordinated with the Miami Children's team and basically set everything up for our stay. That was just so many things we didn't have to worry about. We just got in the car and drove. We knew when we arrived there that we had a place to stay. We knew we were gonna to be together, just the three of us, my husband, myself, and Shiloh. And that at that point is all that really mattered. But they took us to a, a level that I never expected. Um, it was a fantastic place to go, and I knew when I, I checked in there that we were going to be okay. Recently, Shiloh got to DJ at his prom, organized through the local hospital homebound program. It was a star-studded event, and DJ Shiloh's star shone brightest of all. So I actually have one of your T-shirts here. So. Yep. DJ Shy B. I like it. You know I'm going to rock this, right? <laughs> and I want a copy of your first mixtape. You're going to make mixtapes? I have, I have a few. Okay. Already. So you got to send them to me. I will. Operation Build wishes DJ Shy B all the best with his music career or whatever it is he chooses to pursue. We know he'll be great. Now, we're gonna get started on our project here. In part two of our makeover of the Ronald McDonald House, Operation Build is going to install new floors, window treatments, countertops, and more. You don't wanna miss it. 
In 2002, McDonald's hosted the first World Children's Day to raise funds for the Ronald McDonald House Charities and other children's charities worldwide. <laughs> Where did you come from? Now it's time to clean up. I brought in Operation Build team member Tatum Marinkovich to help us do it right. When you're dealing with sick children, it's really important to make sure that we're really aware of the toxics and chemicals that are around the house. So I'm so glad that you're here because we've got this amazing new product that I can't wait to hear about because this is something I'm truly passionate about. So tell me about Clean Smart. Yeah, well Clean Smart is a household disinfecting product, hospital grade disinfectant to kill 99.9% .9 of germs including cold and flu, um, salmonella, E. coli, wow. the things that you really worry about your kids getting sick but at the same time, it's made with no harsh chemicals. I love that. So now a lot of people have the misconception that these green products aren't as effective. And what would you say to that? That's often true, that a lot of the products that are not true disinfectants don't kill germs. Um, Clean Smart is different in that it does kill germs. It is, it is a green product. It's a very gentle to use formula around your family. It's just salt and water, and it's run through an electrical device. Great, now you have a personal story that really kind of relates to all of this. Tell me about that. I do. My own son was born at 24 weeks and he spent most of the first year of his life in the hospital and uh, continues to struggle with asthma and lung disease. So we've really had to be thoughtful about the products that we have used in our house. When I had my son, he, he didn't have Clean Smart. So <laughs> I'm so happy that we're able to bring that to families like ours now. Yeah, it's so great. You know, I find a lot of people aren't truly aware of what's in their cupboard and what kind of toxins and chemicals are hanging around in simple cleaning products. So it's really important, especially in a place like the Ronald McDonald House where we've got so many kids in and out, kids with immune diseases, that we can sanitize and keep it clean, but also make sure it's safe. So tell me what products you carry in the line. Sure, we have a pacifier sanitizer, so it's really simple to use. You just spray the pacifier, you wait 60 seconds, and it's fully sanitized and okay to get back to the wow. baby. Wow, that's great for mom. It is. <laughs> also great for Ronald McDonald House is our toy disinfectant. You don't have to do the bleach bath where you rinse them and then have to, or wash them and then have to rinse them afterwards. Right. You just simply spray the toys down, let them air dry, and they're ready to be used. So great. So I really love that you guys are here because obviously we've done a lot of work in the kitchen specifically, but we're doing a lot of work here at the Ronald McDonald House. And this is such a huge component of the overall health and happiness, really, of the families here. So we really appreciate you being here. It is, and we're so happy to be able to offer six months supply to the Fort Lauderdale Ronald McDonald House, and then also work with other Ronald McDonald Houses throughout the country. So we are doing a promotion for the month of September. Any product that we sell in the month of September will donate an equal amount to Ronald McDonald Houses across the country. That's so great. So where can people find the product? They can get it on Amazon, Harris Teeter, um, Babies R Us, there's several without throughout the country. Great. Well, I know I'm, you've got a new fan in me. I'm already, I've already, i already got it in my to-do list to like buy the product when you get home because this is what I'm all about. I love the fact that you can keep your house clean without damaging your body, which is so crucial. So again, thank you so much for this, and we're so happy to have you a part of this project. Thank you for having us. It's great. It's time to reveal our Operation Build kitchen makeover here at the Ronald McDonald House of Fort Lauderdale. Check out your new oh, kitchen. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, look at these. This is oh my God. What do you think? Oh Love my it. God. Yeah. Beautiful. Amazing. What yes. do you think about the floors, the countertops, the backsplash? Beautiful. 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 Well, these, the countertops are actually made from recycled glass, and we actually resurfaced the existing counter, so it was no mess, and this is maintenance free. Beautiful backsplash to pull together the blue from the dining room. I kind of wanted the two rooms to really feel a nice cohesiveness. And it's a fun color and beautiful tile. Yeah, so we worked with Granite Transformations on that and they did the whole project, which was really a large project. You have basically three kitchens in, in one, so they did an incredible job and we're really so grateful for all of their work. Cola, they gave us the three sinks and three faucets. This faucet is a commercial grade stainless steel and it has this amazing Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> so we can have rock concerts, karaoke right. night. I love it. And then also Baratech Industries gave these amazing inventions, this cool little cell phone shelf here. You can put electronics there. We've got coffee caddies. And then one of my favorite things, 
Clean Smart, this stuff is so awesome. So it's hospital grade disinfectant and sanitation, but it's totally safe, no harsh chemicals, so it's great for kids who have immunity problems, and we really wanted to make sure all the kids were safe while keeping this house clean. Oh, we can awesome. literally do everything, and they gave you a six-month supply, which is oh, great. Oh, we're so grateful to them. It matches yes. the backsplash, too, so yeah. just oh, yeah. keep it out <laughs> everywhere in the kitchen. Elena's just happy it matches with the backsplash. It matches so beautifully, as well as being a great product. Exactly. So how did we do, ladies? Oh, amazing. Sound. Yeah. All right, well, it's not a mission accomplished yet because we have one more surprise for you. Yes. Do you like surprises? Yes. Ready to see your new conference room? Whoa! Look at that. What do you think? Love it. Look at this carpet. Oh my god. Beautiful. It's so beautiful, right? So different. Oh yeah. So different. We brought in, uh, yeah, the table's great. We brought in a Danish manufacturer for the carpeting, Edge, and they did an amazing job. Honestly, you did a great job selecting it. It looks so beautiful. And tell us about the other elements here. Well, thank you. We wanted the room to still have a lot of that influence of the blues. Kind of want to continue it throughout, you know, the whole house. So we have blues, and we added this fun pop of red in the office chairs, and then in a lot of our accessories, took the heavy drapery off the windows added beautiful light Roman shades with a pattern that plays off of this awesome carpet. And then our volunteers actually also painted some beautiful pictures on the wall. Oh, so all great. of those were made with love <laughs> for this house. Yes. We refinished your table. Your table. Yeah. Yeah. Nice runner. New. It's like a brand new brand table. New. And we yeah. moved your TV and put it on the wall at the yes. end. Yes. Wow. Where it needs to be. It yes. deserves exactly. to be up there. Yes. Yes. So mission accomplished? Mission accomplished. All right. Yes. <laughs>had a fantastic time so far here at the Ronald McDonald House of Fort Lauderdale. We'd especially like to thank Edge for the stylish office carpeting, Granite Transformations for the glass tile countertop and backsplash, Pony Tools for those very cool woodworking projects in the crafts room, and Clean Smart for bringing in those much needed cleaning supplies. But we're not done. Operation Build will be doing lots more work here, so stay tuned.